Hi everyone, I'm Ricardo and today I'm going to show you the AoE spells in the game and also some improvements that were done to the spell system. Now, before showing you the new spells in action, I would like to show you the new version of the spell editor, which has a few new features. You can select a few new things, add some sounds. So let's go through the new version of the editor. Now you can see here that in the new version of the spell editor, it has a few more uh, things we can uh, change. The audio cast, the audio cast loop, the audio spell loop. Um, so we can we can add sounds to our spells, which is quite nice. Uh, it helps with the feedback system. So when you press on a spell, it immediately starts something uh, besides animation. Now you can also see that we have target rules. The target type would, could be a source or destination or a unit, unit and a destination. So source and destination will be like uh, areas, you know, a specific point on the map. Uh, unit will be a specific unit you are targeting. It could be uh, the caster itself or it could be the target you're targeting. The target reference, which you can set as a none, the caster, the target or a destination location, which is used for an AoE spell, for example. Uh, although you can also use a target for an AoE spell, has the focus of the AoE spell. And then we have also um, the target check, let's call it like that. So is it an enemy, an ally, a party or a raid member? So if we combine these three modifiers, we can have a, a big variety of targets that we can have for specific spells. So for example, we can have a self heal or we can have a heal that could be used for any unit, maybe weaker, maybe a strong self heal that will be on the caster exclusively, maybe an AOE heal that will be spread out through multiple targets. So you want to have a, a lower healing tool. Uh, so you can actually play a lot of it with this. This is a can be a huge tool for creativity. I think there's lots of potential here for uh, working with the spells. Uh, the, the tool certainly unlocks that. And uh, I'm going to make a Unity tutorial on uh, editor windows. So I have been requested a lot on how to make this kind of Unity editor windows. So I'm going to do that and uh, hopefully in the following days or weeks I'll get it out and I hope you enjoy it. Now the first thing we're going to do is cast an AoE spell. So this AoE spell will heal any friendly unit around and you can see it's healing everyone in the circle. And uh, actually before moving forward let's test an enemy spell. So you can see there is no effect on the friendly target. Now if we go to those enemy units and we cast a healing spell, the same thing applies. Now, if we try a damaging spell, yeah! it works. This is great. So let's try now a different spell. For example, the yeah. Meteor Strike. Yeah! And this is great. So uh, with just a few clicks, I could change the spells yeah! and have a, diff a few different spells, set uh, different yeah! uh, targeting rules, and uh, it allows me for a huge variety of spells. Now, I also would like to show you the Fireball spell, which benefits from the new sounds edition. So you can select the casting sound, flying sound, and uh, an explosion as well, but uh, it's not in the editor yet. Yeah! So let's take a look at that. So if I cast the Fireball... And this is great! Easily yeah. I can make a huge variety of spells with very little effort and I think for yeah. the, the person that will take care of balancing spells and creating new spells this tool will make their jobs very very easy. So I think that's great. Now as a fun thing, I'm going to do some grinding here before everyone else plays the beta or the public version. I'm going to gather some of them and start leveling up so I hope we don't mind guys. And uh, while I'm doing this Please leave a comment, let me know if you have any suggestions for spells or any video you would like to see. And see you in the next video. Bye.